Hi there. Welcome to Bedtime Stories with Uncle Joe. I hope to make this into a regular YouTube series. Hopefully the reproductive um, rights to these works are not going to be infringed upon. I'm not making money on this endeavor. Hopefully the, uh, the content will not be flagged by YouTube. But uh, this was very much inspired by the fact that many of my friends have had either have young children and even with my own uh, nephews and niece who I don't get to see very often. And now as I record this with a pandemic, I can't even see the people, uh, the uh, my godchildren who are close to me. So I miss the opportunity to perhaps tuck them in at night, read them a bedtime story this way. I can offer that uh, ability to not just them, but to anyone who will possibly listen. I hope you enjoy, and I appreciate some feedback. Once again, the first book that I'm going to do is a short, um, short one, short story that talks about how wonderful um, you as a person are, but in the perspective of being a newborn, it's very important to know that the night you were born was a very special night. And there is no one in the world like you, and there never will be ever again. And I think this book makes it clear. Enjoy. On the Night You Were Born by Nancy Tillman This brings to notion a phrase from Psalm 139, and it... Uh, it's something to remember as well, as you can see the footprints on the page, um, whether it's a common thing for parents to put their newborn's footprints uh, indelibly in ink or um, in plaster of Paris or some other form. It's just as a memory. But this is very important to remember, whether as a baby or even as an adult, you must keep in mind that you are loved by someone somewhere at some time, at any time, you are thought of, you are remembered, you are loved. On the night you were born, the moon smiled with such wonder that the stars peeked in to see you, and the night wind whispered, life will never be the same. Because there had never been anyone like you, ever in the world. So enchanted with you were the wind and the rain that they whispered the sound of your wonderful name. The sound of your name is a magical one. Let's say it out loud before we go on. It sailed through the farmland high on the breeze. Over the ocean and through the trees until everyone heard it and everyone knew of the one and only ever you. Not once had there been such eyes, such a nose and silly, wiggly, wonderful toes. In fact, I think I'll count to three so that you can wiggle your toes for me. One, Two, three. When the polar bears heard, they danced until dawn. From faraway places, the geese flew home. The moon stayed up until morning next day. And none of the ladybugs flew away. So whenever you doubt just how special you are, and you wonder how loves you, how much and how far, listen for geese honking high in the sky. They're singing a song to remember you by. Or notice the bears asleep at the zoo. It's because they've been dancing all night for you. Or drift off to sleep to the sound of the wind. Listen closely. It's whispering your name again. 
if the moon stays up until morning one day, or a ladybug lands and decides to stay, or a little bird sits at your window a while, it's because they're all hoping to see you smile. For never before in story or rhyme, not even once upon a time, has the world ever known a you, my friend, and it never will, not ever again. Heaven blew every trumpet and played every horn on the wonderful, marvelous night you were born. Thank you for reading and listening along with me. I hope to do more of these um, in the near future, and I appreciate some feedback. Pleasant dreams.